right, and that was uh, day one. Um, I didn't have any outside footage, but it was all in-car footage. Uh, I had a 33.5 and something else after that, which wasn't too bad. I had a lot of DNFs due to a gate that I was missing. I just did not get the layout of the track in my mind before I started. It was actually at the end of the run that I actually did a DNF. And I did like three times, maybe four times in a row. But <clears throat> anyway, today's day two. Um, it's a lot cooler today. Yesterday it was 80. Today it is under 60. So tire, tire factor is going to be a little bit different. I may not have as much problems with my front tires with the cooler weather, but we'll see. Um, I think the track does change today. I'm not sure what to expect with that. Um, so the times may not be relevant at this point because the, the track's going to probably be adjusted. Um, it's been good. The parking lot is pretty decent. There's a couple ruts in there that makes it kind of difficult. Um, but for the most part, other than just having those all-season front tires where you need some extra grip with the summer tires, it's the only place I feel like I'm lacking at this point. So anyway, we're going to see what day two brings, and uh, here we go.
five. Woo! Good ending. Nice. All right, and that was our weekend of autocross. Um, like I said, day one was a different configuration. It was very nice out. It was about 80 degrees. We had a lot more traction. My front tires, as we talked about with the all season, got slicker as the day went on because they got heated up. Um, so I had a lot of DNFs day one. I was missing a gate. Got that fixed up. Had a decent time. Um, but today I was there for the full, full day. I only ran, I think, like six, six times yesterday. And I ran 14 times today, so a lot more. So I learned a lot more about the car today. Um, it was colder out. I think it was actually mid-50s. I think I said it was 60, but uh, we were hitting mid-50s with really cold wind and, and the pavement was really cold too. So again, those front tires, I need to get those replaced. The all seasons with some summer extreme, so we can actually get some real traction with it. But overall, it was pretty good. Um, as you saw in the video, we started at a 35,797, I think it was. Um, that was my first real run and I think I left it in second gear. Things I learned about it was I stayed in first gear on a track like that because I never, well, except for the very last run, did I ever hit the limiter. So I might as well just give it all the horsepower they can get and, and control it. I also turned off all the trash control. So I was running in sport mode early and it, it allows you to turn the wheel a little bit quicker, but I was um, losing on the traction because it's, it's very, invasive it keeps keeps the tires from spinning a lot so went from going in second and, and i did try to drive once and i learned never to do that um but i stayed in first kept it in kept it in high rpm range and then i also went from sport to track mode and then i did sport one and sport two i tried a couple different ones one of them has active management on um and the other does not I turn off trash control um turn off stability control and with all those controls, and I heard this on the weekend that people like to run without anything turned on. So turned everything off, gave it a try. It worked out really well. And as you see in the, at the end there, I improved by two seconds, two, two, almost two and a half seconds. I was at 33.522. Uh, and I think that would have been the top of my division for the weekend, except for the guy that you probably saw, the yellow Corvette, um, same, same class, same Z06. And he ran a 33-3 his last run. So my last run was my best. His last run was his best. Congratulations to him. I mean, I think that's awesome. Um, again, this is my first time around. So I'll know a lot more. I'll be able to, you know, start more where I want to be with my settings on my car and stuff like that. Um, anyway, next week we are doing the high-speed track lessons. So I'm supposed to get my high-speed license the next week. So we're actually going to a track. So I'm excited to get out of first gear <laughs> uh, and go to a track where I can go into second, third, maybe even fourth and get get into the triple digits for speed. Um, anyway, just trying to get that out of my way, get my high speed license so I can do other events, high speed autocross, and then there's another high speed event after that and I'll let you know about that later. Thanks a lot for watching, hope you're enjoying this. Um, trying to learn how to edit too, so um, I know this is probably pretty rough right now, but it will get better. Thanks guys.